Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Candy, let's have some real talk. Every now and again, we need to do this. Oh, um, the back-to-school plan. And but let me just preface the whole discussion by saying I think districts are— uh, doing their best trying to come up with something, some sort of uh, in-school learning to go along with uh, socially distanced learning. And um, and it seems a lot of districts are going with the same plan. Might be a little variation here and there. I want to get your opinion. You Now, your kids are obviously older and out of school, but I want to know what you may have done if your sons were still in uh, K through 12, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the, my district and those around us seem to be doing half the school goes Monday, Tuesday, while uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the other half is home. And then the other half goes Thursday, Friday, while the other kids are home Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So if you follow Wednesday, everyone's home. That's a deep cleaning day. That's um, a teacher's plan there next week. That's Wednesday is like everyone's home. Half the school goes Monday, Tuesday. Half the school goes Thursday, Friday. And, you know, my in my heart of hearts, and right now, Dana and I are saying, yes, if the schools are open, our kids are going. The thing I'm hearing from a lot of parents is something that we've been throwing around, debating back and forth. And that is, you know, if you're going to open school two days a week and open yourself up to germs and and who knows what uh, families and teachers and people who maybe are exposing themselves in their private lives to coronavirus, and now you're opening your family up to it after you've been safe, Um, does sending your child for two days really matter in the scheme of, you know, I know kids need the socialization and want, you know, to see other kids, but are they really getting that socialization? I would almost rather see, you know what, we're going back five days a week and let's see what happens. Now you're telling me, well, your kid's only going to be in school two days a week. You're going to open yourself up to germs and who knows what. You're still going to have to homeschool three days a week. So do you understand where I'm coming from? My, my, I now hear what I don't you're know. coming from, but Jackie's school was a bit different because what they're doing is they have, yeah, two teams. One team goes uh, Monday and Wednesday, and then the other team goes Tuesday and Thursday, whatever. But the same day, Monday's team that's live and present in the classroom, when they go home, then Jackie has to teach the home kids for that day what they learned. So she's doing like a double thing. She says, I have to have nine plans a day. Uh, and, that's a lot. Uh, yeah, a lot. So I don't know. It's a bit different than that because even though the kids would be home, they still would be doing the video learning. And those that are going get the first thing she it's a right i feel for her and let me also say regarding the teachers i feel for the teachers uh for what you just said there's a lot of preparing and planning and homeschooling and in-class schooling on top of which uh, especially the elementary schools the the elementary school teachers have to take those younger kids and make sure their hands are washed. Their mask is on. They're socially distant. They're, I mean, and can you- they have to wear the mask all day to the teachers, which is very uncomfortable. It's- Personally, I would have this semester or whatever from September to December, you're still learning from home. Now, mind you, and some, some people are saying that, mind you, uh, we may get to a point in the next four to five weeks that people are testing positive in a certain school district and it's closed anyway. Or as they did in Indiana, they opened up a school in Indiana within hours. Kids tested positive. They shut down the school. This so, is what I'm saying. Give it some more time. We all right. got used to, well, not me, but we all got used to the virtual learning. Let's do it through December and then come back and see where we are. Now, I also need, because I know there's probably people who want to give their opinion and they're yelling and screaming at the radio. Um, I also want to give the other side of it. I am fully in support of the fact that kids need 
to be in school to learn what you know to face to face the whole thing i i tried homeschooling you know i i was doing that march through june and it was tough it, it is it tough was, it was tough but right? i think uh, half and half is tough too maybe even tougher it, right that's why when i say look if i'm and i come back to this point if i'm going to open my family up to germs and whatever's out there let me be in school five days a week because two days, what is two days doing? And, and they're not going to do that. That's not going to happen. Right. So I don't so know. I if, say virtually teach through I, December. I, That's what I would do if I was the yeah. boss. I don't, I don't know. And parents have a decision in my district. They can decide. I ran into a parent yesterday. King Cullen said they may keep their kid home for the first two weeks to see how the first two weeks go. So they're not a guinea pig. And then after two weeks, if it looks safe, send their kid to school. Which got that too. It might I understand be the point. that too. And and again, it comes down to the teachers are the ones really putting themselves out there, and uh, it's yeah, yeah, it's it's a, a, it's a debate. There's a, a lot, lot to take in, lot to think about, uh, and I'm sure uh, parents want to comment. I will. Here's what I'll do. I'll put a post up on Instagram and just get people's thoughts. Uh, All right. As to what they think, uh, what what they think they might do. All right, and then very we'll, uh, nice. We'll read some of those comments. We'll go from there. Look, country ninety six point one. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays six to ten a.m. on My Country ninety six point one.